Hi, I'm Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I want to walk you through one of our new additions to Adobe Analytics as of Spring 2016, our April release, Virtual Report Suites. Uh, sometimes you have data flowing into Adobe Analytics and you want to expose just a piece of that data to a team in your organization. For example, maybe you have all of your data flowing into one report suite, but you want just the folks on your EMEA team to see the EMEA data and the folks on your APAC team to see the APAC data. Um, and you want to be able to segment it out that way and control the data that these teams can view so that they don't have any overlap. Virtual Report Suites is all about allowing you to do that. Previously you would have had to do it in separate report suites. Now you can do it after data collection, after data processing, um, directly in the Adobe Analytics UI. So to do this, I'm going to go under Components, and I'm going to go down to Virtual Report Suites. This is something that you'll only have access to if you're an Adobe Analytics admin, as I am in this account. And I can see all of the Virtual Report Suites I've previously created. I'm going to do a new one here, and uh, as you can see, I've already set up my EMEA uh, Report Suite. In this case, let's say I want to expose just um, campaign data to my campaign marketing team. Maybe I have an agency that's doing campaigns, and so I want them to only see a certain slice of the data that's relevant to them. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna name my suite. I'm gonna call it campaign data, and maybe I'm gonna say for my agency does not include non-campaign data. Okay, I can, I can tag it if I want to, if I wanna, if I wanna use tags to organize my virtual report suites. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign, assign it to a group. In this case, I'm going to assign it to my agency. And I can assign to multiple groups. And these are going to function as report suites. And I'll show you in a minute what that looks like, what, what that would look like for a member of my agency. Um, but it's uh, the way that you're going to assign them out and give them permissions is very much like regular report suites where you, you put them in groups. Uh, for my parent report suite, I'm going to base this off of my main suite, which is We Outdoors 2015. So that's where the data is actually going to come from. And then I can apply one or many segments to this virtual report suite, and that will control, based on the data in the parent report suite, what actually gets surfaced in the virtual report suite that my agency team, in this case, can use. So uh, again, I could add multiple segments. I can actually create a new segment from here if I want to, uh, but I'm just going to stick with this one segment for the purpose of this demo. I save the virtual report suite, and I'm going to be put back into the virtual report suite manager. And now I can see that I've got my new virtual report suite. Let's see how this is actually reflected in reports and analytics and, uh, and analysis workspace. Virtual report suites work throughout Adobe Analytics, so any of the tools that I prefer to use, if it's Report Builder or, uh, or Ad Hoc Analysis or any of the other tools I mentioned, I will be able to use virtual report suites there as well. I'm going to go to a campaigns report, actually, in reports and analytics, and then because I'm an admin, I have access to all of my report suites and all of my virtual report suites. Uh, if I were not an admin, if I were a member of the agency team, I'd only have, so I'm in my, I'm in my report suite dropdown, and I would only have maybe this campaign data uh, report suite available to me. You can see that it's treated just like a report suite. It shows up in the report suite dropdown, and I can select it uh, just like I would any report suite. If we click to view info on it, we can actually see the segment that the virtual report suite is based on as it's loading up. It's going to show me the segment, campaign followed by order in this case, uh, and it's going to give me a little preview of the traffic in that segment. It looks like I don't have much over the last uh, month and a half or so. But uh, the key thing here is I can, I can see that this is based on my We Outdoors report suite with this segment applied, and that becomes its own virtual report suite. So the right way to think about these is truly um, that you, uh, you're applying a segment. That segment is, is not sort of uh, visible in the reports, but it's inherent in the data that's being requested when you select these report suites. So I can come in and select my campaign data report suite, uh, my virtual report suite, that is. And when that runs, 
I have I have no data. Um, that's a that is more more likely an issue with the the segment than anything else. Uh, but the point of it is you can select these just like you would any report suite. Uh, and again, the same is true of Analysis Workspace um, or any of the other tools um, in Adobe Analytics. The last thing I want to show here is actually the user management where you can see that these things are treated as report suites. So if I come into my groups, now one thing to keep in mind with these virtual report suites is that they inherit all settings from the parent report suite. Um, and that's important because it means you don't have different EVAR names, you don't have different menu customizations or anything like that. Um, everything will match the parent report suite, only the data will be different. In the near future, we are looking to add um, time zone uh, as an option so that you can shift your, uh, the time, uh, the time stamp essentially of your data as you go into a virtual report suite. Um, so if you want to expose a virtual report suite for another region of the world, you can have that data show up in their time zone. Um, so if I wanted to uh, really restrict this agency to just the campaign data, I can remove the other report suites. Now I've got just the campaign data virtual report suite in there, and I can come down here and save that and uh, should be all set and I could add more users to that group if I wanted to. That's Virtual Report Suites coming in April 2016. Um, anyone who owns the Adobe Analytics solution will be able to create as many of these as you want based on your existing report suites or new report suites that you implement.